My name's Chris. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm also Taco Pill on um, Discord and uh, Twitch. And for my uh, mini talk, I'm going to talk about how to use a wiki to create a game design document, or if you prefer the term universe Bible. Um, I'm more familiar with game design document, so that's what I use. Um, if you would like to use this, what you'll need is a uh, connection to the internet in which, unless you wish to use an offline wiki, um, in which case you can also use a Word document or a text file in place, Some, something that uses doesn't require the internet. Um, for the purposes of this lecture, I'll be using the MediaWiki software made by the Wikimedia Foundation wikis like Wikipedia and Wiktionary. By all means, if you prefer to use TWiki, which TV Tropes is based on, or other wiki software, you can do so. I'm just most familiar with this software. Pros and cons of using a wiki in comparison to other things. Uh, there's an easy way to connect between the pages share an image on multiple pages, uh, create navigation tools, etc. Have anyone who joins sign up for the wiki, all they just need is an account with it. The cons is you need to learn their syntax and you need to be connected to the internet for it. Nowadays, since the internet's pretty close to being ubiquitous, it's a requirement that's lo lo lowering or lessening. Okay, uh, next up is page types. Each thing you see here is a page on the wiki. Um, you can tell what, what part of the wiki you are up here. Um, put this back. The first and most frequent page type is an article. Article helps uh, tell whatever information you wish to display. Um, if you want to show graphics, you can show graphics. If you want to show stats, you can show stats. It's all a simplified version of HTML in the background. To help you make lists, create links, bold or italicize the um, text, make tables, post comments, so on and so forth. The next one after that is known as user pages. This is where you can uh, post personal information, whatever you are comfortable with saying what you do around the wiki, how to get in contact with you, whatever you prefer to post, so on and so forth. Um, you're the, you and the staff, are the staff of the wiki are the only ones authorized to edit it. Uh, most wikis either prevent it or have rules against it. After that is the project namespace in which a wiki is allowed to talk about itself. Um, who, when was it founded? What copyright rules apply if it's under Creative Commons? So on and so forth. After that is files. A file page will contain information about the image itself, like when it was updated last dimensions and stuff like that. This is handy if you wanted to uh, upload a new version of file without creating an entire new page, because anywhere this file is embedded will automatically up get up updated with a new version of that file. After that is the MediaWiki namespace.
in which is places where you can edit the software itself without um, using the server or contacting your server staff saying, hey, I need you to install this or change this text. These are options available to you to change what the software says. After that is templates. Templates can be brought into multiple pages, kind of like files, but you can add information to customize the template. like images, stats, and so on and so forth. Help pages are places you can describe for new users how to embed images, how to bolt text, and stuff like that. Categories, the final, final, one of the final um, ones that I want to cover. Categories are automatic ways of grouping pages that are similar. You can group um, categories within categories, helping you form a, a tree hierarchy. Um, and each page will have stuff on the bottom that says which categories this page belongs to. And then the last one Let me find a good one. Okay, apparently no one's edited it. This one will Oh yeah, okay, that works. Um, anyway, every article has an, every article, every template, every category, all of them have an associated talk or discussion page. This is where you can bring up editing issues saying, hey, this is inaccurate, but I don't know how to fix it, or should this be written in such and such of a direction? Uh, should it be informative? Should it be talkative? Should it, so on and so forth. It's places where instead of having people talk back and forth, hey, I think the edit should be this way, I think it should be this way, they can talk about how it should be and eventually come to a consensus. Page actions. If you look at the top here, these are actions you can do on each page. You can read them or view them, as the wiki prefers to call it. Um, you can look at the source, or if you have the author right, the ability, the right to, you can edit the source. Uh, you can also look at the history of the page to see how it's been edited over time. And if you are familiar with how this works, you can also see how what has been added and removed as it's evolved with time as well. The one thing also available to staff of a wiki is the ability to protect a page. So if you have a template that gets used a lot, you can 
prevent it from being edited and not disrupt thousands upon thousands of pages. And my, for my final slide, is parts of an article, common parts, that a lot of wikis will have. Over here, for those of you who are unfamiliar, this is known as an info box. Um, it contains information that is easily organizable into tables, um, but usually only needs one or two columns. This way it's, it's not taking up the entire screen, but it can also be, like every single character in the game, I unless they're like really, really minor, it's probably gonna have a page with an info box on it. Um, so this is helpful for stats, um, affiliations, if they're on specific teams. Similar, if you go to a wiki about a television show, you'll see all these details about it that people thought would be useful in a tiny, neat area like this. Now the other common thing, usually at the bottom, is called a navigation box, or nav box for short. Um, these are things that are These are uh, pages that are linked by a similar topic. Um, like for example, these are all characters I'm intending to have in a player in the player's party. Um, I can group them by sub. I can subgroup them by common ideas. I can link pages as well. And part of the template here is an easy access to editing it should I ever need them to make a quick change. And then once I've edited it, every page that that thing shows up on will be updated. And that's my presentation. <laughs>